Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. I take no pleasure in this video today. I've been putting it off since I heard the news yesterday. I, uh, this hurts. This one really actually hurts me. And that's saying something. I have been involved actively, willingly, readily in the culture war, the pop culture war for three years now. And a lot of things don't bother me. I can take Disney Star Wars sucking. I can take Kurtzman Trek sucking. I can take them going after so many other things because some of them have either been completed as far as I'm concerned or have enough like, like the actual expanded universe. There's so much there. Disney can never take that away from me. There's so much Star Trek out there, real Star Trek. Di Kurtzman Trek cannot ruin that for me. But sometimes there is still something out there that can get to me. And this story gets to me yesterday because I'm a gamer. Like many of you out there, I play games to escape from the bullshit, to just relax, have fun, sometimes with friends, most of the time by myself, to just enjoy something pure that is supposed to be just for me, not for anybody else. And one of the franchises in gaming I have enjoyed for... I well over a decade now. Ever since I first got my PlayStation 3, one of the first games I got was Dragon Age Origins. I love the entire Dragon Age franchise. A lot of people say, oh, the first one's the only good one. Dragon Age 2 is shit. Dragon Age 3. No, I like them all. I've replayed them many upon many times. And I always find enjoyment because I always try to do it a little bit differently. Sometimes I'll replay it the way I really love it, the way I like it the most, but there's always something to be found in a Dragon Age game because it's meant, it really is for everybody. Those games are truly for everybody. You can play it however you want, in any way you want, and it was just there for fun. When Dragon Age Inquisition was done, we knew there was going to be a fourth game. We knew it. It was supposed to be the battle against Solus and his forces, Rise of the Dread Wolf. It's been in development hell. It's gone through many different development teams, and none of the original Dragon Age team, the, the brilliant men and women that made these games, they're gone, replaced by lesser individuals. I have had one hope for years now, ever since it was announced that what was previously called Dragon Age, Rise of the Dread Wolf, was, I, had, I just wanted it to be a good game. I knew there was going to be some element of wokeism, some element of agenda in there. And I just wanted it to hold up enough so that I could get the end to at least this story. Because there is still stories to be told, especially the one that we got left with. Yesterday we got some news. And it started off as just, okay, fine, whatever. They changed the name to from Rise of the Dread Wolf to the Veil Guard. And IGN's making this whole big thing. Oh, we're going to have exclusive footage in a couple of days, in, in, in a week on the 11th. On June 11th, we're going to have exclusive footage for you, gameplay and stuff. And I thought, well, okay, okay. We're going to check this out. Uh, I'll probably talk about it on stream and we'll see what happens. But then, <laughs> then Grums. Grums had to come rushing in with reality. Beware, Bioware Dragon Age has been renamed the Dragon Age to Dragon Age Veilguard. New gameplay trailer debuted June 11th. I'm hoping for a great game free of modern politics. Uh-oh. Who is this? Corinne Bush. There's a flag. Trans woman, which means that's a dude. She, her, game director of Dragon Age Dreadwolf, Queerosexual gender mancer, opinions on rights, trans rights, black lives matter. My heart sank. My heart sank when I saw this. Because I realized I am 99% sure I'm screwed on this one. Park Place has since given us more. While this information is being brought to light to a wider public by Grums, the de a developer story focused on Bush reveals his identity because Park Place is not going to play the pronoun game. I'm not going to play it either. 
as a queer trans woman has indeed been injected into the game. Bush detailed, as a queer trans woman, I have a perspective on the games that not everyone has. Dragon Age has long been a place where the alphabet mafia folks can see like people like themselves represented respectfully. I said it when we started this video. Was sexuality always present in Dragon Age? Yes. Yes, it was. And it didn't matter. Because you didn't have to play the game that way. If you wanted to, you could be very gay in that game. In all three games, you could be gay. But you don't have to. It's a choice. This is not a choice. This is somebody who has to make everything about their sexuality and their degeneracy because that's a man pretending to be a woman. It's inherently very queer. No, it isn't. No, it is not. I just explained that. You choose to go these directions. They do not define the story. Who you F it doesn't matter. Because you don't even have to F Morgan. You can have somebody else F her. It's just, just an example. People say, oh, Morgan and the, and the old god child matter. Yeah, because you don't even have to do it. You can have somebody else do it. Logan can freaking knock her up. Alistair can knock her up. Anybody else can knock her up. doesn't have to be you. It's only you if you want it to be you. You could be gay with somebody else and then have somebody else knock her up. And it's such a rare thing for marginalized communities to have representation where we feel proud and powerful and how we are depicted. It didn't matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep ranting on it. Got to move on. He added, it's so deeply meaningful for so many. I often get emotional when I think about what would have meant for a younger version of myself to see someone like her in a game. Her who? Her what? You played the game. What, did you first play it two years ago? The game's been out for over a decade. You don't have to see yourself in anything. I hate this. Why do they have to ruin everything? Why can't we just have our goddamn games? Focus. Focus. Finish this. I hope we can be in a safe place for our queer players to know they are not alone, that they are brilliant and worthy, and they are not the only welcome but celebrated. They're playing a game by themselves in their house. This is a single player game. You're not playing it with other people. You're alone in your home or wherever you play a game. It is not meant to be. I. You can see, I hate this. I. Th if this is what's going to break me, this just broke me a little bit. All I wanted was a conclusion to the story. But no, I have to get goddamn Alphabet Mafia fucking politics shoved into my games. Bush also makes it clear he is indeed guiding the game to adhere to this vision. Game directors are sometimes thought of as big personalities who are singularly responsible for the purity of their creative vision. But for me, it's really about being a steward for the vision that we, as a team, have collectively defined. Their vision, make it gay. Make it all about gay. And because they talk about, we go back here, they waddle on, oh, we changed the name from Rise of the Dreadwolf because while Solus and his, his, his machinations are still a big deal, it's about your party. It's about you and your companions. It's not about saving the world or stopping tragedy or all these other things. It's just about how you and these people beside you are going to reach the end, which if you translate from here, it's about being goddamn gay together. That's all they fucking care about. They do not care about telling a goddamn story. They care about ruining it with their ideo ideological agenda bullshit. That's all they goddamn care about. I can get a, I get a high level view of everything and it's coming together and can steer the project as it does. But ultimately, it's about empowering people to work together, play with ideas, offer critiques and play, make decisions, all that help create a cohesive experience for player. No, it's all to give your indoctrination bullshit slammed into a game the way you want it. Players be damned. I have been a loyal advocate for this franchise for over a decade. 
I'm not out. I have to. I'm locked in. I have to play this game because somebody who loves this franchise has to play it and give you a clear and definitive review. You you will get to watch me play this on my gaming channel, Renaissance Nerd Arcade. I will stream it. You will see every minute of it. I might be wrong. This might be. This might be another Bo DeMeo situation where Bo DeMeo, before X Men 97, pranced around talking about my, my. I'm doing this from the vision, from the perspective of a gay black man. And it turns out, for most people who I trust, that the show hit all the proper nails. It didn't miss a beat, it gave you a good X Men story. This may be one of those things. Maybe this person's just talking out of their ass and somebody else was able to keep it controlled and not let it get out of hand. That is my one tiny little hope. And it's tiny. It's, it's really, really, really small. Like this person's shriveled penis. He also noted, in Dragon Age, you can be who you want to be, explore the possibilities and consequences of your choices, and build relationships that leave lasting impression. Few games give players that kind of autonomy, while also weaving such a rich narrative. I think it really speaks to why our players feel so invested in the world. And that is actual truth. That is why I've been invested in this franchise for well over a decade. Not because of this person, because that was the world created originally by those who were greater than this man pretending to be a woman. True people who had a vision of fun, who cared about the world they built. This person doesn't care about anything but their agenda. And I am just sick and tired of it all. All I want to do is enjoy my games. But they don't want to let us join their game, enjoy these games. They don't. They want us to be mired in their personal hate for us. They are sitting back laughing. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> we got one over on the Chuds. That toxic nerds will drive them out. Well, guess what? If I buy, well, not if, when I buy this game, and if it turns out to be complete and utter dog shit, I will show it to the world, and then you will drive off people. They will not buy this game. It will tank, and Dragon Age as a franchise will be done. Over. And that hurts me because I love it I have no faith in this right now I have no faith in the next Mass Effect game all I wanted was a fun game and th th you know, this is where they get me man they, they, they can call me all kinds of names they can say all kinds of stuff they can pretend that I'm some sort of big bag homophobic big and I don't care about any of that because it's all bullshit it's all internet bullshit but here is where they've reached into something I loved one of the last few things that I thought I could still count on fun gaming when it's just a single player experience for me not even online nothing else they've reached in and they have poisoned it fuck these people i hate this no outro i'm done thanks for watching the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'll see you next time take it easy thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel check out my gaming channel at renaissance nerd arcade and follow me on x twitter under at the red nerd thanks again for watching take it easy